each tool has its unique strength and applications. While Python and R excel in statistical analysis and data manipulation, platforms like Tableau or Power BI are your go-to for visual storytelling. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Promise AK and on this channel we talk about data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence or other technological advancements. In today's video, I'll share my curated list of the top 10 data analysis tools for 2024. These tools are indispensable for extracting insight and making informed decision in a world driven by data. But before we go on, be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. It is totally free. By subscribing, you will stay updated with the latest content from me and this channel. So let's dive right in and I'll be ranking these tools based on the following criteria to help you make informed decision or choice for the tools to go for. Number one is based on the popularity and adoption. Tools with larger user bases and strong community support offers more resources and documentation. Popular open source tools often benefit from continuous improvement, making it easier to find solutions to problems and stay updated with the latest development. Number two criteria is the ease of use. Tools with intuitive interfaces and user-friendly features contribute to the tool's ease of use. Tools that offer straightforward workflows and require minimal technical expertise would be most preferred. Scalability, the ability to handle large and complex data set is essential for a data intensive project. Scalable tools ensure smooth performance and efficient processing even as the volume and complexity of your data grows. The next is the end-to-end -end capability. A comprehensive tool should support a wide range of tasks from data extraction, preparation to visualization, modeling, deployment and interference. End-to-end -end capability streamlines the data analysis workflow and eliminates the need for switching between multiple tools. The next criteria is data connectivity. Flexibility in connecting to diverse data sources and format is crucial for working with real-world data. Tools that offer seamless integration with SQL and no SQL databases, APIs and various file formats such as CSVs, excels json files packet file enhances versatility and data accessibility the next is interconnectivity integration with other tools and platform enhances the interconnectivity and workflow efficiency tools that seamlessly integrate with popular libraries framework and platform enable users to leverage existing resources and extend functionalities as needed the seventh and the last criteria is affordability. The cost factor is very important with consideration for both free and paid subscription based models. While some tools offer robust features at no cost, others may provide advanced functionalities under user subscription based pricing models. Number 10 on my list is Google BigQuery. Google BigQuery is a fully managed serverless data warehouse that enables scalable analysis over petabytes of data. It is a part of the Google Cloud platform and is designed to handle large data sets and perform fast SQL queries. It is best for handling large scale data warehousing, running ad hoc SQL queries on massive data sets and analyzing and visualizing data for business intelligence. Google BigQuery uses an on-demand pricing model based on the amount of data processed by your query. There is a free tier with limited processing per month, making it accessible for small-scale projects. Beyond that, costs are based on the amount of data you process. The ninth position is Apache Spark. Apache Spark is one of the most successful project in the Apache Software Foundation and is a cluster of computing framework that is open source and is used for real-time data processing. Being the most active Apache project currently, it comes with a fantastic open source community and interface for programming. Spark is known for handling large-scale data processing and analytics 
offering speed and ease of use. It is best for big data processing and data analytics. Aperture Spark is open source and free to use. However, if you're using managed services or specific distribution, costs may be associated with the cloud infrastructure. Number eight on my list is Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebook is a popular open source web application that allows data scientists to create shareable documents combining live code, visualization, equation, and text explanation. Great for exploratory data analysis, collaboration, and reporting. Jupyter Notebook is popular for its flexibility and support for various programming languages, making them ideal for collaborative data analysis projects. So it is best for interactive data exploration, prototyping, and collaborative data analysis. Jupyter Notebook is an open source tool and is free to use. So you can just download Jupyter Notebook or use the Anaconda package to access Jupyter Notebook. Number seven on my list is Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a simple but powerful tool for data collection and analysis. It is a part of the Microsoft Office Suites and is readily available, widely used and easy to learn. Microsoft Excel can be considered a great starting point for data analysis. The analytical tool pack in Excel offers a variety of options to perform statistical analysis of your data. The charts and graphs in Excel gives a clear interpretation and visualization of your data. Microsoft Excel provides users with features such as sharing workbook, working on the latest version for real-time collaboration, adding data to Excel directly from photos and other sources. Excel is best used for spreadsheet analysis and basic data modeling. Microsoft products include the following category for home, business and enterprises. Microsoft Excel is part of the Microsoft Office Suites and the costs are associated with the Office 365 subscription. Some versions of Excel might be available for free during trial periods. Number six on my list is SQL. No data analysis list or tool list is complete without SQL. This is the language for managing relational database SQL remains indispensable for extracting valuable insight from structured data. SQL is best for data retrieval and database management. SQL itself is a query language and is free to use. However, licensing costs may be associated with the database software if you use a specific database system. Sitting pretty in the fifth position is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code, or VS Code for short, is a free and open source code editor developed by Microsoft. It provides support for various programming languages, rich code editing features, and a vast extension marketplace. Some key features of VS Code include extensions. It has a broad ecosystem of extensions that enhances its functionality. It has an integrated terminal that allows you to run code directly from the editor. It has integrated Git support for version control. It also has built-in debugging tool for Python, R, and other languages. VS Code also supports Jupyter Notebook. So if you use the Jupyter Notebook, you can also use it in VS Code. It is best for writing and debugging your code, collaborative coding, and version control, integrating with various data sources and extensions or integrating with various data science extensions. Visual Studio Code is a free open source code editor developed by Microsoft. It is available for download and is used at no cost, making it accessible for developers without any fees or any licensing fee. Number fourth position is Power BI. Microsoft Power BI is a business analytical tool that delivers insights throughout your organization. Power BI is a Microsoft product used for business analytics. It provides interactive visualization with self-service business intelligence capacity or capability where end users can create dashboards and reports independently without having to depend on anybody. You can connect to many data sources including database, Microsoft Excel's, and different cloud-based systems. You can also write Python scripts with Power BI. Some products offered by Power BI includes 
desktop that's power bi desktop power bi pro power bi mobile power bi premium power bi embedded and power bi report servers all these products differs in functionalities they offer power bi offers different pricing tiers including a free version with limited capabilities the cost increases for power bi pro premium and other advanced features so the power bi desktop is free to use and you can easily download and start creating dashboards it is best for creating reports and data visualization in the third position is tableau tableau is a leading business intelligence tool that turns data into understandable interactive visuals tableau provides fast analytics that can explore a wide range of data sources like spreadsheets databases data on ad hoc and cloud services it is easy to use and it has a powerful graphic user interface it can build effective interactive dashboard with less effort tableau is a market leader and lets you work on live data rather than spending too much effort on data wrangling tableau offers a user-based licensing model and cost depends on the number of users and the specific edition. Tableau Public is a free Tableau software that you can use to make visualization, but you need to save your workbook or worksheet in a Tableau server, which anyone can view, which makes a case for data privacy, right? It is best for creating visuals, dashboards, and sharing insights across your organization. Yeah, so for me personally, it was a difficult decision deciding on my fourth and third position Based on my preference, I would put Power BI in third position and Tableau in the fourth position. But because of ease of the wide company adoption, I've placed Tableau in third because from my research, companies use Tableau more than Power BI. So making it yeah my third best tool for 2024. Sitting in second position is R-based tools. R is one of the most popular programming languages for statistical modeling, visualization, and data analysis. It is an open source programming language. R specializes in statistical analysis and visualizing data, offering a comprehensive ecosystem of packages. It is excellent for data visualization and analysis with packages such as ggplot2, Lactis, Plot, Plotly, and others. R Studio is a popular integrated development environment for R based programming. Uh, so if you're a programmer with R, you want to use R Studio. So R is generally free and can easily be downloaded from their official website. It is best for statistical modeling and hypothesis testing. Okay, sitting pretty in the first position, I guess by now you should know the tool I'm talking about are Python based tools. Python is a programming language and you have Python based tools. Python is one of the most powerful data analytics tools available to users. It comes with a comprehensive set of packages or libraries. Python is free, open source software that can be used for high level data processing and visualization. Python remains the lingua franca for data analysis known for its simplicity, versatility and robust libraries like pandas, numpy matplotlib or seaborn python also has strength in web scripting natural language processing deep learning and machine learning with libraries like beautiful soup nltk tensorflow and keras or scikit-learn most programmers prefer learning python as their first programming language due to its ease, ease of use and versatility it is a high level object oriented programming language python is open source and most of the tools are generally free you can easily download python from their official website but before we wrap up here is a tool i recommend chat gpt while it's not in my top 10 it is a fantastic ai power tool for data science tasks offering features like code generation analysis reports and various plugins for researches and automation in conclusion each tool has its unique strength and applications while python and r excel in statistical analysis and data manipulation platforms like tableau or power bi are your go-to for visual storytelling aperture spark and google bigquery are at the front front for handling big data offering powerful processing capabilities 
now no matter your choice staying updated and skilled in these tools would ensure you remain competitive and efficient in your data analysis endeavors so dive in explore and find a tool that fits your needs and aspiration in the data universe thanks for watching if you've not liked the video by now make sure you do that subscribe share with your friends your colleagues and click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be alerted whenever i post any new video bye see you on the next one